Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJO Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. The LCS round ends tonight. We are at Oakland, Alameda County Coliseum. This is game five of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Oakland Athletics. This series is tied two games to two. Whoever wins tonight will play the Kansas City Royals in the ALCS. Loser goes home. I'm actually very surprised this series between the Yankees and a much superior A's team is actually tied at two. But then again, Yankee magic always seems to show up when you never, when you always, when you least expect it. So tonight, do the Yankees pull off even a bigger upset than the Astros beating the Pirates? Or do the A's will host the big time matter of the Kansas City Royals and the ALCS? Jeremy Brooks, Brian B., Phoenix Knight, Jimmy Jam, and Tracy Meehan join us here at Oakland Coliseum. Last night's game was amazing. Are we going to have another one like that tonight? Inside pitch sometimes just tortures me with these dice. But who knows what will happen. Let's get right to it and see who will move on to the ALCS. Starting pitcher for the Oakland Athletics is number one starter and, of course, Hall of Famer Catfish Hunter. He is 0-1. He got the loss in the first game of this series. But we will see if Hunter bounces back tonight and tries to send the A's into the ALCS. Brian Patterson now joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. So Catfish is back on the mound. There is not an empty seat here at Oakland Coliseum. Uh, neutral Park might favor hitters. 120 home runs, plus one to strikeouts and minus two to walks. Yankee Magic. Is it always hard for the Yankees to be eliminated? They don't they never, I don't care what year it is, the Yankees always seem to be tough to kick out of the postseason. And that's Yankee magic for you. Let's go to the top of the first. Leading off for the Yankees is second baseman, Horace Clark. He is batting 375 for the playoffs. He has done a good job for the Yankees here. We're using yellow, white, and green dice. Athletics are the home team. Everyone is set. Not an empty seat. The final game of the division series round. Let's go to the first pitch. Hunter, 5-5, five, five, walk, 4, and he's going to walk Clark. So the first thing he does is walk Horace Clark, and he will trot the first. First walk issued by Catfish. And now the battle will be the third baseman, Bernie Allen. He is 4 for 16 for the playoffs. He does have a home run. Clark at 18 stolen bases, and he's not going anywhere. Hunter, 5-3. That's a blank. Allen, 5-1. That's a power hit to right field. That's a 17. That's going to be way too high. It'll die out there. Right fielder Reggie Jackson will go ahead and make the catch and put it away, one down. And now the center fielder. Bobby Mercer, he's batting only 200 for the playoffs, but he does have two home runs. Clark stays where he is. Catfish, 5-4 against the lefty. It's a blank. Mercer, 3-5, and that is a ground out to short. 1-1-2. One, one, Second base pivot, Tim Cullen, 0. A 1 or a 2, it's a double play. No, the throw will go to first base. Picked up there by Campanaris. Clark actually got a good jump, and he'll throw to first to get the out. Clark moves to second, but there are two outs. Two down, and that'll bring up, in my opinion, one of the more underrated Yankees in their history, left fielder Roy White. He is 6 for 19 for the playoffs. DB joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 11. Clark at second. Catfish. 5-2. Walk. 8. Ball 4. He walks another one. He'll walk white. Second walk issued by Catfish. 
Two outs still, and now we'll bring up the first baseman, Ron Bloomberg. He is four for 14 for the playoffs. Runners at first and second. Nothing on Strat. Clark and White stay put. Catfish Hunter will pitch. Hunter, 2-6, blank. Bloomberg, 3-5, and that's a fly ball to center field. And that will be going after that will be Angel Mangual. He'll make the catch. And retire the side. Nothing across except a couple of walks. Yankees get an early chance but can't do anything with it. We go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees. Their number two starter, Mel Stoudemire. He's actually 1-0. He got the win in the first game of this series. So one win, no losses for him. As we now start the bottom of the inning. Leading off for the A's will be the shortstop, Burt Campanaris. He is 3 for 18 for the playoffs. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, 6-1, blank. Campanaris, 4-2, fly ball to straightaway center. Bobby Mercer will back up a little bit, but he's got it, one out. And now the left fielder, Joe Rudy. Rudy is six for sixteen for the postseason. For the for the postseason, Rudy actually is the leading hitter for the A's at this time. Stoudemire five three against the righty, strikeout four, swing and a miss, struck him out. First strikeout for Stoudemire, two away. And now the right fielder, one of the greatest home run hitters of all time, Reggie Jackson. And he is 5 for 15 for the series. He does have a couple of bombs. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyre, 6-3, blank. Jackson, 5-1. And that's grounded to second base. Horace Clark will get to it. And he'll throw it over to first. And that's a 1-2-3 inning. No score after one. Why does the more East Coast teams have retractable roofs? And I was wondering about that when City Field was being built. The Mets were postponed again. Now they got to play a, du a double header against the Tigers tomorrow. We go to the top of the second. And leading off for the Yankees will be the right fielder, Johnny Collison. I have him bat. I have him start against right handed starters. Collison is two for 11 for the series, or the postseason, I should say. He does have a home run. Hunter will go ahead and pitch. Catfish, 6-6. Six, six. That is an automatic out. And it's going to be a ground ball to third base, handled there by Sal Bando. And he will throw it over for the out, one down. And that will bring up the catcher, John Ellis. This will be his last start if the Yankees go on to the LCS. Thurman Munson will be back. Ellis, however, has done a decent job. 5 for 17 at the plate. For the series, for the playoffs. Hunter with the pitch. 2-2, two, two, strikeout two, swing and a miss. Struck them out. First strikeout for Catfish, two down. And now the shortstop, Gene Michael. Michael is one for 17 for the series. He's struggling. Hunter with the deal. Hunter, 1-2 against the switch left. That is a blank. Michael. 2-4, and that's grounded to third base. Getting over there is Bando, and he will toss it over and retire the side. 1-2-3, go the Yankees, and we will go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Athletics is the third baseman, Sal Bando. He is 5 for 17 for the series. Stottlemyre, 5 2, walk 18. That will miss. Bando, 4 1. And it's a line out right to short. Michael is right there, one down. And now we'll see the first baseman, Matty Alou. Alou was with the St. Louis Cardinals early in 1972, and he is on the Oakland Athletics now. Alou is four for nine for the postseason. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, three, four, wild pitch, ball one. Three, two, against the lefty. That's a walk plus 10, and that will walk Alou. So Alou trots the first base. 
first walk issued by Stottlemyre. And now the center fielder, Angel Mangual. He is 5 for 16 for the series. Infield is a double play depth. Alou with 13 stolen bases. He will stay where he is. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyre, 6 2. Possible error. Mangual, 2 6. That's a line drive to short. Now that's caught by Michael. That's out number two. Michael's ever rating is an eight. So if now that means there's going to be an error on a throw if Alou is is tried to gun down. The only way Alou would have been out uh, is on a one. No, there will not be an error as Alou will get back. There's no throw to first. That would have been a throwing error, but an error it would have been an error. But nothing will happen there as there's no throw to try to double him off. So now two down. And now the catcher, Dave Duncan. He is 5 for 15 for the series, and he does have a home run. John Haverly joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Strategy roll, nothing on the 5. Alou stays where he is. Stottlemyre, 4-5, strikeout, 4, swing and a miss, struck him out. Second strikeout for Stottlemyre. Nothing across except the walk. No score after two. Win or go home. It will be the Astros and the Cubs in the NLCS. Who will face the Royals in the ALCS? And for those of you who didn't watch last night's game between the Reds and the Cubs, Game 5, that NLDS, you missed the classic. You better go watch it. Leading off for the Yankees will be the pitcher, Mel Stottlemyre. He can hit 200 average and 7 RBIs in 72. Hunter will go ahead and he will pitch. Hunter, 3-1, strikeout, 8, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Second strikeout for Catfish. One down, the next batter is Clark. Clark walked his first time up. He has been stingy so far in the postseason for the Yankees. Hunter, 6-5. Range play. Clark, 1-3. That's a fly ball hit to left field. Going after that is Joe Rudy. His range is a 2. And he's got it. Nice play by Rudy out there on a 1. And Clark will be retired to now. That'll be a fly out to left. And now the batter is Allen as Sports Time Machine. Utah Mike joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Allen is 0 for 1. Two outs here, top of the third, no score. Catfish, 1-5 against the lefty. It's a blank. Allen, 1-5, and that's hit to right. It's a fly ball to right, though, and Jackson will get to that one, and he'll put it away. And retire the side. Nothing across. We go to the bottom of the third. Ron Santo, it's going, going, gone, rigged. Bottom of the third inning. Leading off for the A's will be the second baseman, Tim Cullen. I usually have him against right-handed starters. Uh, Cullen is 0 for 4, though, for the uh, postseason. So Stottlemyre will pitch. Stottlemyre, 1-5, blank. Cullen, 5-6, and against the righty, that's going to be a base hit. He'll hit that one pass short, and Cullen will make it the first. That'll bring up the pitcher, Catfish Hunter. Actually a very capable hitter, a 219 average. Infield is going to be corners in, expecting a bunt. And the bunt, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, Hunter's a good hitter, but I'll go ahead and bunt. you got to get a run here. So Stottlemyre will pitch. The bunt is on. Stottlemyre, 5-1. That is a blank. Catfish will go ahead and bunt. And that is bunted right back to the pitcher. So his bunt rating will be a 3. And that is a 14. And the lead runner is going to be thrown out. He bunts it right back to Stottlemyre, who turns and fires the second. Catfish will be safe at first, and that's out number one. So that does not work. So that will be a fielder's choice. And now the batter is Campanaris. Can't be a 0 for 1. Infield now a double play. Strategy roll. 
Nothing on the seven. Catfish will stay there. Stottlemyre. One five. That's a blank. Campanaris. Five six. And that's hit the right field. Fly ball to right. And Johnny Collison will make the play. Two down. And now here's Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 1. Nothing on Strat. Hunter stays at first. Stottlemyre right now doing a heck of a job here. Not allowing the A's anything. Stottlemyre. A 2-4. That's a blank. Rudy. 1-4. And that's a fly ball to center field. Bobby Mercer is going to come under that. Make the catch. And retire the side. No runs in a hit. No score after three. Who's going to break through first? Will Mack joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Rainy and windy Pennsylvania. Yep. Even my Mets. Can, my Mets can not only win a game, we can't right now even play a game. Top of the fourth. Leading off for the Yankees will be Bobby Mercer, and he's 0 for 1. No score. Series tied at 2. Winner plays the winner, winner plays the Royals in the ALCS. Loser stays home. Hunter, 2-4. Strikeout, 19 is high. Mercer, 5-5. Five, five, base hit. He'll hit that one past third, first base, and the Yankees get their first hit of the game. Mercer holds it first. The batter will be White. White walked his first time up. Infield double play. Strategy. And that is a four. And the hit and run is called. But I'm going to let White swing away here. Mercer's got actually a pretty good chance to steal. 11 plus 3 is 14. Duncan plus 1 is a 15. But that would be a hit and run, though. And White does have some home run power. Actually, hit and run might not be a bad idea here. A hit and run actually might not be a bad idea. You know what? I'm not going to call it. It's I'll let I'll, it's I'll I'll call it off. Hunter, three four strikeout eighteen. That's high. White one four, and that is a fly out the left. Rudy will get to that one and make the catch. One out. Here's Bloomberg. Bloomberg is 0 for 1. Strategy. This time, nothing happening. Mercer will stay on first. Hunter with the pitch. Hunter, 1-6. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 1-6. That's a power hit to right field. That is a 14. And that, well, that falls into 12. That falls into a home run result. And against the righty, Bloomberg needs a 20. Well, sooner or later, somebody was going to go ahead and break through. And it's the Yankees first. Kaboom! That ball is high! That ball is in deep to right field! It is gone! Home run, run, Bloomberg! Stadium groans. Ugh. Ron Bloomberg hits his first home run of the postseason and puts the Yankees ahead 2-0. A two-run shot by Bloomberg. And that was a good pitch by Hunter. That Bloomberg just powered that one out of here. And it is 2-0 Yankees. And now the batter is Collison. Collison is 0-1. for 1. 2-0 in favor of the Yankees. The Yankees trying to upset the swing and A's here. And, of course, with the Reds knocked out last night, there is no chance of the actual historical World Series appear happening for 72. Hunter, 5-1. That's an automatic out. And that will be a fly ball to left. And Rudy will get to that one, two away. Two men down. Here's Ellis. Ellis is 0 for 1. Hunter will go ahead and pitch. Hunter, 4-4. Four, four. That's a pitcher result. The 2 is going to be an automatic out. And that's going to be also a fly ball to left field. And once again, Joe Rudy will get it. And he will make the catch. 
Side retired. Two runs, two hits. A two-run bomb by Bloomberg. Yankees have taken a 2-0 lead. The A's being bounced would be the bigger upset because the A's actually won the World Series that year. They would be that would be the bigger upset. And uh, Brian B says he told me to have to walk Santo last time up. You know what? One there's some one of the guy real quick. One of the guys on in, on the internet actually uh, asked a question about the 1985 NLCS about Jack Clark. Would you have pitched to Jack Clark or would you have walked him? And of course, Clark hit the home run against the Dodgers with the, you know against the Dodgers with the Cardinals in '85. All right, to win uh, to win the game. You know what? Here's my thinking on that. Intentionally walking a batter for strategic reasons is one thing. Intentionally walking a batter because you don't want to pitch to him is another. I say pitch to the guy. Let him beat you. Let him beat you. If you if you pitch it over the plate and he hits it out, that's your fault. But if you give him something not to hit and he still hits it out, that's on him. But he could still pop out. He could still ground out. That's why all the intentional walks that were given to Barry Bonds during the time, you know what? You should have pitched to him. Let him hit it. You still got to. He still has to put his bat on the ball. So that's the one thing I try not to do here. I will try not to walk somebody just because you're afraid to pitch to the guy. Let me ask a question: Did, any, did Tom Seaver or Sandy Koufax or Bob Gibson fear any batter that came to the plate? I don't think so. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's two nothing here, and here's Reggie Jackson. He's zero for one. Yankees lead 2-0. Bottom of the fourth now. Stottlemyre, 5-4. Range play. Jackson, 5-5. That's a ground ball to second base. That ball is hit to Horace Clark. He was pretty good. His range is a three. And he's got it. Nice play by Clark. He'll throw to first and get the out. Ground out to second. Clark comes through with a big one. And now the batter is Bando. Bando is 0 for 1. One out. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, 5 4. Range play again. Bando, 4 4. Fly ball to left field. Going after that is Roy White. He was excellent. His range is a 5. That's a 1. He'll make the catch. Two down. Right now, the A's aren't getting any breaks. Here comes Alou. Alou walked his first time up as Vita Productions joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Stottlemyre with the pitch. Stottlemyre, 4-3, error on a throw. Alou, 3-4. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is picked up there by Michael. His error rating is an 8. That's a 2. That's going to be a throwing error. Bloomberg's range is a 1. That'll get past him. And Alou, but Alou will hold at first base. He will not take second. So that is going to be an E6 on Michael. First error on the Yankees. But with two outs, can the Athletics go ahead and make a play? Mangual is up next. He's 0 for 1. Alou on at first base. There are two outs. Stottlemyre will go ahead. Strategy roll. Nothing on the two. Alou will stay where he is. Stottlemyre will pitch to Mangual. Stottlemyre, 5-3 against the righty. Strikeout three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, one error. And the A's still, hold, still behind 2-0 after four. We're going to the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Yankees will be Gene Michael, and he is 0 for 1. Hunter will go ahead and pitch. Hunter, 5-2, walk 5. That's ball 4. He walks Michael. So again, Hunter having some issues with control. That's his third walk of the game. 
It'll bring up Stoudemire. We'll probably see a bunt here. Corners are in. Strategy, that's a seven. And Stoudemire is going to go ahead and make a bunt. His bunt rating is a four. Punter, 4-2. Four, Hit by pitch, but that is ignored. So we will now see the bunt. Stoudemire bunts it right back to the bunts it right back to the pitcher. His bunt rating now will be a three. And that is a seven, and that's going to be a successful sacrifice bunt. Back to Hunter. He throws the first to get Stoudemire, and the runner moves up. One down. Nice job by Stoudemire. And that is a sacrifice hit to the pitcher. It will now bring up Clark. Clark is 0 for 1 with a walk. Infield is now back. Michael on at second. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum. The Swing and A's were the best team in the replay. But the, right now, the Yankees have a 2 0 lead in a game five. Strategy roll. Nothing on the eight. Hunter, 4 3. Walk seven, and that's ball four. He walked Clark. Clark gets walked for the second time. And now the batter is Allen. Allen is 0 for 2, but a serious home run hitter. Infield is at double play depth. Yankees lead 2-0, to top of the fifth. Strategy, nothing on the 17. Catfish will pitch. Catfish, 1-3, that's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 5-4. It's a single plus double to center field. Michael will come in and he'll automatically score. Clark will go to third. Allen has to try for second. Base runner two. Center fielder Manguel zero. A one to two. Allen will be safe. And he will hold put on the brakes and head back. But it's a run scored. And the Yankees now lead three to nothing. Stadium groans. <sighs> And now here comes Mercer. Mercer is one for two. Infield is at double. Infield's actually going to call. They're going to call the infield in. The A's right now are kind of shell-shocked. Catfish will go ahead and pitch to Mercer. Strategy roll. That is a one. And Mercer does get the hit and run, but they're going to he'll swing away. Catfish will pitch. Catfish, 1-4. Wild pitch. No, ball one. The 14 is high. Hunter will do it again. Hunter, 4-3. Walk, 15. That's high. Mercer, 2-2. Two, two, and it's a ground ball to second base. Clark is going to be held. The throw, Allen moved to second. The throw goes to first, two down. So they decide to hold him here. It's a ground ball to third to get the out. And now two down, and here's White. After further review, with Steve Tower joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Runners at second and third. Three-nothing Yankees now. Catfish, he'll go ahead and he will pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 11. Hunter. 1-4. Wild pitch. No. 18 is high. Ball one. Catfish looking in on White. Here comes the pitch. Hunter. 4-1. Strike out one. Swing and a miss. Struck them out. And the inning is over. Strike out number three for Hunter. But one run. One hit. One walk. I'm sorry. Two walks. And a sacrifice bunt. 3 nothing Yankees going in the bottom of the fifth. The Astros knocking off the Pirates is one thing. The Yankees knocking off the A's is another. Bottom of the fifth inning. Right now, Mel Stoudemire is keeping this A's lineup quiet. Dave Duncan leads off for Oakland. He's 0 for 1. Stoudemire will go ahead and pitch. Stoudemire, 5-3 against the righty. Strikeout, 12 is high. Duncan, 6-2, and it's a fly ball to left field. Roy White will get to it and make the play, and that's out number one. 
And now the batter is Cullen. Cullen got a base hit his first time up. Stottlemyre, 6-3. Blank, Cullen, 2-6. And that's grounded to third. Getting over there is Bernie Allen. And he'll toss it over for the out, two down. And now the batter is Hunter. And he's going to bat. Hunter will go ahead and bat against Stoudemire. Hunter, a decent hitter. Remember, in a game five, all pitchers are available at any time after the seventh, at starting the seventh inning. You can bring in all, no matter what, if you want. Although, I'm going to try to not bring French players in so early. Stoudemire will pitch. Stoudemire, 5 4, range play. Hunter, 3 2. It's a base hit pass short. But it's a range play for Gene Michael. His range is a four. And he's got it. What a play by Michael. He'll take a single away from a catfish. Throws to first. Side retired. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Web gem. Nothing across. Three nothing Yankees after five. We go to the top of the sixth. Leading off for the Yankees is Ron Bloomberg. He hit a bomb his last time up. He is one for two. Catfish will go ahead and pitch. Catfish, 5-3. That's a blank. Not tired. Bloomberg, 3-6. And he hits a fly ball to left. Well, that will be caught by Rudy. For out number one. Kansas City would have home field. Remember, they were the three seed. The Yankees are the four. The Yankees had to win a wild card, had to are the wild card champions. Kansas City is the three seed. So, it, so Kansas City would have games one, two, six, and seven. Here's Collison. Collison is 0 for 2. Hunter with the pitch. Hunter, 5 1. That's an automatic. Out! And it's a fly to right. Reggie Jackson will get to that one, make the catch for out number two. And now the batter is Ellis. Ellis is 0 for 2. Can the Yankees beat the A's without Thurman Munson? They do it with John Ellis, at least in this, in this series. I never believed that would happen. Hunter, 5-2, walk 5, and no, that will be too high. Ellis. 5-1, base hit, right past third. Ellis gets a single. Ellis will hold at first base. And now the batter is Michael. Michael 0 for 1 with a walk. Strategy roll, and Ellis will stay where he is. Hunter, he'll go ahead and make a pitch. Hunter, 6-4, strikeout 9 and, yep, got him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. Strikeout number four for Hunter. No runs and a hit for the Yankees. They lead 3 nothing. but the swinging A's right now are not swinging. Thurman Munson, however, would be eligible to come back game one of the ALCS. Felipe Alou has still got to be out for at least a couple more games. But he could return in game three of that series. Stottlemyre back on the mound. He's actually pitching the game of his life. And leading off is Burt Campanaris, and he's 0 for 1. A's better start winning for two years. The team might move, probably some particular like Las Vegas. Well, they're going to be – right now, they, they did not get the um, – was the ex's deal to stay in Oakland Coliseum. And you know what? Why would you want to stay there another couple of years? They're now looking at uh, Sutter, what is it? Sutter Home Field, uh, home of the Sacramento River Cats. Sa Sacramento, Sacramento River Cats, I think. What is it? Sutter, Sutter, Sutter Home Field or something like that, which I look at the ballpark. It's actually pretty nice. And it's good sized. Sutter Health Park. Thank you, V-Dub. Sutter Health Park. It's actually a pretty nice ballpark. It's actually pretty big. It'll be perfect for them for a while. Stottlemyre, 4-6. That is a blank. Campanaris, 5-6. And that's a fly ball to right field. 
Collison will go ahead and get that. Makes the catch out number one. Now here's Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 2. Stoudemire pitching a one-hitter here so far. Stoudemire. 6-3. That's a blank. Rudy. 2-3. And that's a grounder to short. Getting over there is Gene Michael. And he'll take his time. Toss it over. Two down. And now Reggie. Reggie is 0 for 2. Stoudemire. He'll go ahead and pitch. Stottlemyer, 4-1, blank. Reggie, 1-2, base hit. He'll hit that one into left field, and Jackson will reach first. Only the second hit given up by Stottlemyer. The A's got to do something with that. Here comes Bando. Bando is 0 for 2. Jackson, he will stay where he is. Stottlemyer looking in on Bando. The fans here at Oakland Coliseum getting a little anxious as they're running out of innings. Stottlemyer with the pitch. Stottlemyer, 2-6. That's a pitcher. That's a that's a pitcher result against the righty. 1 to 12. Base it up the middle. The 19 is too high. Wow. Ace can't get a break. Bando, 6-3, and he grounds it to short. Michael's going to get to that. He'll throw the second again. Jackson, and the inning is over. No runs in a hit. The Athletics are absolutely getting no breaks. Three nothing Yankees after six. Fast moving ball game already the top of the seventh. Leading off for the Yankees is the pitcher, Mel Stottlemyre, and he's going to bat. He's pitching a gem. Hunter will go ahead and pitch to Stottlemyre. Stottlemyre can still pitch to uh, quite a still amount of batters here. Hunter will pitch. Hunter, 2-1, error on a grounder. Stottlemyre, 3-2. Nope, that's going to be a fly ball to center field. And that will be caught by Mangual. And that is out number one. One down. Here comes Clark. Clark is 0 for 1, but walked twice. Hunter. 1-2 against the switch left. That's a blank. Clark. 2-5. That's a power hit to center field. That's a 14. It's going to be too high against the righty. It'll die out there. Angel Manguel will make the catch near the track. And that is out number two. Clark just got under it. And now the batter is Allen. And Allen is one for three with a single. Hunter. He'll go ahead and make the pitch. Hunter. 1-1. One, one, blank. Allen. 1-2. Fly ball straightaway center. Once again, Mangual will get there. And he will make the catch. And Angel Mangual makes all three putouts. In the inning, one, two, three, Yankees have a three-nothing lead. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Tomorrow there will be no game no matter what. We will take a break tomorrow night. No baseball Thursday night. 
We will return Friday. If the Yankees win, it will be game one of the American League Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. If the A's come back and win, it'll be game one of the National League Championship Series between the Houston Astros and the Chicago Cubs. So depending what happens here, we will either have the ALCS or the NLCS game one Friday night to start that round. So no baseball tomorrow night, as this is the last game of the division series round. But the A's got some work to do. Bottom of the seventh, Yankees lead 3-0. Fans here in Oakland, Alameda, County Coliseum cannot believe that Stoudemire is putting this team to bed. Matty Alou will lead off for the Athletics. He is 0 for 1, but walked and reached on an error. A's better start swinging, or this season's going to go by the board. Stoudemire will pitch. Stoudemire, 1-6, walk, 3, and that is ball 4, and Alou will be walked again. Alou draws a walk. That's the second walk issued by Stoudemire, both to Alou. And the next batter is Mangual. Mangual is 0 for 2. Infield is at double play. Alou at 13 stolen bases. And that's a 10. Nothing happening. Alou stays where he is. Stoudemire will pitch to Mangual. Stoudemire, 6-5. Against the righty. Strikeout 9. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is strikeout number four for Stottlemyre. One out. And now the batter is Dunkin' Donuts. He's 0 for 2. Yeah, the A's have been swinging. They've just been missing. One man down. Alou on it first. And nothing happening. He will stay where he is. Stottlemyre looking in on Duncan. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum saying, come on, guys. You won over 100 games. You got to win. You got to put this... This Yankee team away. Stottlemyre, 5 6, range play at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 5 2. It's a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Johnny Collison. Got to make a play. His range is a two. No, we won't get it. And that's going to be a single for Duncan. Single to right. Alou, base runner three. Single to right. Plus one, a one to four. Alou will get the third. It's a six. The throw's coming in. Alou coming around second base. Right fielder Collison is a minus one arm. A one to four. There could be a play. There is going to be a play. Alou going to third. The throw going to third. A two to five. Alou is out. No. Alou makes it to third, but the ball is caught off by second baseman Clark. Throws to the shortstop, Michael at second base, tags out, Duncan, two outs. Duncan tries to take second base on the throw. Alou makes it to third. Duncan gets the base hit, but he is out at second. A's cannot get a break. And now the batter is Colin. And there are now two outs. What a, what a play by right fielder Johnny Collison, who's a minus one arm. And Alou does get to third, but the ball is caught off, and they decide to get the trailing runner at second. What a huge play that is. So Alou now on at third. Stottlemyre will pitch to Cullen. The infield is back. There are two outs. Stottlemyre, strategy roll. Nothing happening on the 14. Stottlemyre will pitch. Stottlemyre, 2-6. Pitch a result. Righty, 1-12 is a base hit up the middle. That's a 17. They just can't get any help. Cullen, 4-6. And he grounds it to first. Bloomberg will go ahead and get there. Tag the bag. Side retired. Stadium groans. <sighs> no runs, one hit, a walk. 
stays 3 nothing after 7. We go to the top of the eighth. Catfish Hunter can pitch two. Let's see here. He can pitch to two more batters before he tires. He is due to lead off the eighth inning. They're going to let him pitch. And leading off for the Yankees will be Bobby Mercer. Mercer is one for three with a single. Three nothing Yankees now top of the eighth. Hunter. 5-1, that's an automatic out, and it will be a fly out to left field, and Joe Rudy will get there for the play. One down. Batter now is White. White is 0 for 2 with a walk. Hunter will pitch. Hunter, 1-1, one, one, blank. White, 3-6, and that's a ground out to short, taken care of by Campanaris, and he will throw it over to first, two down. And now Bloomberg, Hunter is now tired, but he says, let me get this done. Hunter sets up against Bloomberg. Fans here hoping Hunter can finish strong. Hunter with the pitch. Hunter, 3-2. Against the lefty. Home run result against the righty. Bloomberg needs a 20. Well, Hunter's J just came. Hunter may have just ended the season. Because he just put one right over the plate. And Bloomberg just hit his second bomb of the game. Kaboom! High, deep, gone! Home run, Ron Bloomberg! His second bomb of the game! Stadium barfs! Yeah! Ron Bloomberg... Catfish has put it right over the plate against the lefty. And Bloomberg comes in here, who's really in there for Felipe Alou, because Alou is hurt. And Bloomberg has hit two bombs in this game. 4 nothing Yankees. And now here's Collison. And Mian says that's it for Hunter. And in coming, he will bring in Waslewski. And yes, I will bring him in. He is available. Coming on to pitch for the Oakland Athletics will be Gary Waslewski. Pretty much a fringe, uh, only a, pretty much a, almost a fringe player, but available. No wins, three losses, a 204 ERA. Waslewski will come in to pitch for now. He is due to lead off. The bottom of the the uh, bottom of the eighth inning. Maybe we'll do a maybe may have to do a probably should do a double switch here because Waslewski's a good pitcher here. So uh, maybe you want to do a double switch and let's see here. He was due to bat, so actually in this case, I would probably put him in Cullen's position, bring in Ted Kubiak to play second base, and let Waslewski take the eighth spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So Waslewski is going to come in, but he's going to come in in the eighth spot. So timeout on the field for a substitution as the pitcher will now bat eighth and the second baseman will bat ninth. So coming in to take over at second base for the Athletics is actually really going to be Dal Maxville. He actually might be the better guy to bring in. Dal Maxville is going to come in and take over at second base. So Dal Max, so Dal Maxville will come in. That's what we'll do here at second. So Maxville is a 3-7-0. So the pitcher spot, so now Dal Maxville will now bat in the ninth spot. He'll be the leadoff hitter. 
And double switch Epstein at first. Well, I'm already too late. I've already put in Maxville. And I think, and actually, I don't, I don't think Alou is the problem. So I'm going to bring in Maxville instead for the time being. I've already done it. So Dow Maxville will take over at second base. He'll bat up next. Gary Wasluski is now the number eight pitcher. So Collison will bat now. He is 0 for 3. 4 nothing. top of the eighth inning. Wasluski is now the pitcher. 5-2. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 1-6. It's a power hit to right field. That is an 18, and that's just going to miss. That's going to be a fly ball to right field. Jackson's going to be near the wall, but he'll make the catch and retire the side. One run, one hit. A two-run bomb by Ron Bloomberg, his second home run of the game. Yankees have a 4-0 lead. Bottom of the eighth. Stottlemyre, he can pitch to four more batters before he tires. And leading off for the Athletics will be Dow Maxville. Maxville started the season with the St. Louis Cardinals. He is on the Athletics at this time. Uh, Maxville, 224 average, a homer and 24 RBIs. So Dow Maxville now taking over at second. And he will bat against Stottlemyre. Bottom of the eighth, four nothing Yankees. The A's are just not getting a break. Stottlemyre, two five error on a grounder. Maxville, five four. It's a base hit to right field. Single to right. Right fielder is Collison. His error rating is a two. That's a fourteen. He won't make an error. He'll go ahead and get that ball in. But the A's have the leadoff man on. So Maxville gets a base hit. It'll now bring up Campanaris. David Vega joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. And if the A's want to get any hope, they need to get some runs in this inning. Campanaris is 0 for 3. Infield double play. 4 nothing Yankees. Strategy rolls are now off. Stottlemyre, 4-5, strikeout. 13 is high. Campanaris. 5-4, base hit, right past third, it's a single, and now the A's got something cooking. Maxville will hold at second base, he does not have the speed to get to third. But now runners at first and second, and now here's Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 3, infield still a double play depth. Maxville at second, Campanaris is at first, Lyle. I wonder if you I wonder if you bring in Sparky Lyle now. Do you bring in Lyle now? To try to get the save here. Who's my mate? Who's my uh who's my Yankee fan in the chat? Is it is it you, John Haver? One more hitter. Okay. John Haverly says one more hitter. Very well. Maxville at second, Campanaris at first. Stottlemyre's done a heck of a job, but he will pitch to Rudy. Strategy rolls are off. Stottlemyre with the pitch. 2-1. Walk. 11. That is too high. Rudy. 2-3. It's a ground ball to short. 3-3-4. Three, three, Second base pivot. Clark 0. A 1-4. to four. It's a double play. No. Maxville gets the third. Campanaris will be thrown out at second base. Rudy makes it to first. And there's one out with runners at the corners. They do not turn the double play, so it is a fielder's choice. And now the batter is Reggie Jackson. Jackson is one for three. Runners at the corners. Even with a home run, Jackson cannot tie the ball game. But runners at the corners, infield is still a double play depth. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch to him. Stottlemyre will be tired after Jackson. And they say, Mel, you pitched a great game. Go for it. Strategy rolls are off for nothing. A's one out, bottom of the A's down, four runs. They got to get something here. Stottlemyre, five, six, range play at the park. Oakland Coliseum. 
three, three. It's a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Johnny Collison. He's going after it. Collison's range is a two. No, he can't get it. And that's going to be a double by Reggie Jackson. A double to right. Maxville will score. Rudy, base runner third. Double to right. Double to right, minus two. He'll only score on a one. And he won't. He'll hold it third. Jackson holds it second. It's four to one. Jackson comes through with a big time double to at least get one run in. And now the batter is Bando. And that will be it for Stottlemyre. As Stottlemyre coming out of the game. And the Yankees are going to go with the closer now. And it will be Sparky Lyle. Lyle has one win and one save in this postseason. Infield. Joe Rudy got good speed. Do you play the infield in or back? And try to get the make sure you get the out. It's now a four to one lead as the A's now get a run in. They say back. So the infield will play back, which means no chance of a double play, but the run will score. But they'd want to make sure they get the outs. So now a four to one game. Bando, the batter, he's 0 for 3. Strategy rolls are still off. Lyle, he can pick the seven batters before he tires. He's going to go ahead and pitch. Here comes the deal. Lyle, 2-2. Two, two. Home run chance. Righty, 1-9. The A is good against the lefty. Bando needs a 17. Does Bando tie this game? Yep. Kaboom! That ball is high! That ball is deep! That ball is gone! Tie game! Stadium cheers! Yay! A 2-2 is a home run chance. It fell under the right-handed batter of Bando. Bando needed a 17. That's a 10. We're tied at four. Sal Bando may have just hit the biggest home run of the, of the, seer, of the round next to Santos last night. We're tied at four. Lyle put it right over the plate. He pitched Bando a grapefruit, and he turned that into fruit salad. We got a new ball game. Definitely game of the year candidate. A great job by Mel Stottlemyre, and Sparky Lyle comes in. And the first thing he does is throw a meatball. Now, Lyle's got to keep it where it is because here comes Matty Alou. And, he's 0, and he is 0 for 1, but he's reached base all three times, two walks and an error. Now, Lyle has to deal with Matty Alou. Now Lyle's got to keep it a 4-4 tie because now the A's have their closer warming up in Raleigh Fingers. Lyle will go ahead and pitch to Malou. Lyle, 5-1 against the lefty. It's a blank. Alou, 1-4, and that's a ground ball to third. That'll get taken care of by Bernie Allen, and he'll throw the first two outs. And now here's Mangual. Mangual is 0 for 3. As Clee Baseball fan joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. So Lyle will now pitch to Mangual. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum were kind of like sleeping and all of a sudden got a shot in the arm of adrenaline. Lyle, 
Five four. Range play. Mangual. Five two. It's a ground ball to second base. That ball is hit to Horace Clark. His range is a three. He can't get it. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead runs on first. Mangual comes through with a single. The batter now is Duncan. And Duncan, looking at the bench, I think you'll let Duncan swing here. He actually is. I think you'll let him. Yeah, I think you'll let him swing. Or do you here? I don't know what Tracy Meehan wants to do, but Frank S. joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. And Duncan, they're going to let him back. He actually hits lefties a little better. So Lyle's going to go ahead and pitch to Duncan. Mangual on it first. Sparky Lyle comes in. The Yankees have a four-run lead. The first thing he does is give up a three-run bomb. Mangual on it first. Duncan at the plate. Strategy rolls are back on. Nothing on the six. Mangual stays put. Lyle will pitch. Lyle, one, three, strikeout, ten. Got him, struck a swing and a miss, struck him out, and the inning is over. But what an inning. Three runs, three hits, a three-run bomb by Sal Bando. That was his first home run of the postseason. We're tied at four after eight. Will we see some top of the ninth inning magic? Tracy Mann says bring in fingers now to hold the tie. So Gary Waslewski will come out of the game. And coming on to pitch for the athletics will be Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers. Fingers has two saves in this postseason. Leading off for the Yankees will be John Ellis. And he got a base hit his first time up. He's one for three. Tied at four. Fingers will go ahead and pitch to Ellis. Fingers will go ahead and deal. Here comes the pitch. Fingers, 6-4, strikeout two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He gets Ellis. One down, and the batter now is Michael. Michael is 0 for 2 with a walk. Fingers, he'll go ahead and pitch. Fingers, 2-1, walk 11. That's too high. Michael, 4-1, and that is a ground ball to third base. That will get taken care of there by Bando. Throw goes to first for out number two. That'll bring up Sparky Lyle, and he is coming out of the game. Yankees have got to go to the bench. And the Yankees will go to the bolt, will go to the bench here. And let's see what they're going to bring in. And it is going to be. Coming on to pinch hit for the Yankees is going to is going to be Ron Swoboda, 248 average, a homer and 12 RBIs. They're going to go righty on righty because Fingers has issues with right-handed batters. Fingers will pitch to Swoboda. Two men out here, top of the ninth, tied at four. Fingers will go ahead and pitch. Fingers. 4-6, error on a throw. Swoboda, 5-2. It's a ground ball to second base. That ball is hit to down Maxville. His error rating is a 7. That's a 12. Maxville's got it. Throws to first. Side retired. 1-2-3, go the Yankees. Will we see some bottom of the ninth inning magic?
Coming in to pitch for the Yankees is going to be Lindy McDaniel. Three wins, and McDaniel, he does, he has a loss in the series, in the postseason. He's 0-1, but he is the next best pitcher. So Lindy McDaniel will come on to pitch for the Yankees as Stottlemyre is going to get a no decision. And right now, Lyle gets no, does not get a hold. So now here comes McDaniel to pitch. Leading off is the pit is the pit. Riley Fingers was due to lead off. Um, Tracy, um, I know we didn't do a double switch, but do you want Fingers to bat? What do you want to do here, Tracy? He's actually the leadoff batter. So what do you want to do? That's why I was a little surprised you wanted to go to Fingers now, but. What do you want to do? Epstein pinch hit for him. No double switch. So Fingers is going to come out of the game. And coming on to pinch hit for the Athletics will be Mike Epstein. And he is very capable of hitting one out. 270 average, 26 homers, 70 RBIs. Mike Epstein will go up against McDaniel. Bottom of the ninth. Tied at four. The, the A's were pretty much left for dead. But suddenly, Sal Bando resurrects them. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum knows that McDaniel makes a mistake. It's out of here. McDaniel will pitch. Two, six, strike out five, swing and a miss. Struck them out. He will get Epstein one down. And now the batter is Maxville. Maxville is one for one. Came in with he started the game, started the inning off with a single. McDaniel will go ahead and he he will go ahead and pitch. McDaniel, one one, error on a throw. Maxville, four two. That's gonna be that's gonna be an infield single. It's an infield single to short. Gene Michaels, ever rating is an eight. That's a 20. He won't try to get him out. And the winning run is on base. Maxville will get to first. And now the batter is Campanaris. Infield is at double play. Campy is one for four. The winning run on first. A, a trip to the ALCS to take on the Royals. Tied at four. Bottom of the ninth inning. Are we going to have two extra inning game fives? McDaniel will set up. Strategy roll. Nothing on the six. Maxville stays where he is. McDaniel will pitch. McDaniel, 1-3 against the righty. It's a blank. Campanaris. 5-3, and it's a line drive to short. That's out number one. Maxville will be doubled off on a one. And he is. Maxville is off the base. Shortstop Michael throws the first, doubles him off, and for the second straight night, free baseball. Free baseball. Free baseball here. Get your free baseball. No runs in a hit. Tied at four after nine. Another game five going into extras. No lead is safe at inside pitch. I've played a lot of great division series at RJL Network, and I thought that the division series I just finished between the Cubs and the Reds was maybe the best one I ever did. But this one here right now is coming right close to it. We go to the top of the 10, tied at four. Coming on to pitch for the Athletics will be Bob Locker. 72 stats, six wins, a loss, 10 saves, 2.65 ERA. Locker does have a win, a hold, and a loss. So he is one and one with a hold. 
So Bob Locker will go ahead and pitch. He can pitch the six batters. It is the top of the order for the Yankees. Here's Horace Clark. Clark is 0 for 2, but has walked twice. Dave, Uncle Dave Gardner joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Top of the 10th. ALDS tied at 2. Winner goes to the ALCS to play the Royals. Loser goes home. Yankees had a 4 0 lead, and then the A's got. And then the A's got four runs in the eight, in the bottom of the eighth inning to tie this game up. Four runs on three hits, I should say. How many runs was that? It's four runs on four hits. My bad. Sometimes the scorebook gets a little bit messy. Okay, so it's four runs on four hits. So Clark will lead off against Bob Locker, top of the 10. Locker, 2-5, range play. Clark, 2-2, two, two. that's a power hit to center field. That's a 16. It is too high, but it's a range play for center fielder, and that's Angel Mangual. He's going after it. His range is a 4. He's got it. One out. Gone the run. What a play by Mangual. And that'll be a fly out to center, one down. And now here's Allen. Allen is one for four with a single. Locker will pitch. Locker, three, six, wild pitch, ball one. He had a number, he had a lot of wild pitches, I think. He's got two wild ones on his board. One, three, strikeout, 14. Cold strike three on Bernie Allen. He can't believe it. 13, but plus one makes him a 14. That is a 14, and Allen cannot believe that ball was in there. Struck him out. Allen is saying, come on, that was low. The umpire says, no, you're low. You're also out. Go take a seat. Two down, and now the batter is Mercer. Mercer is one for four. Locker goes ahead and sets in with the deal. Locker, 3-2, against the lefty. It's a blank. Mercer, 6-1. That's a power hit to right field. That's an 11. And against the righty. Oh, my Lord. He just hit it out. Kaboom! That ball is high. That ball is at deep to right field. Jackson's going back for it. He's at the track. He's at the wall. He leaps. It's gone. Home run, Bobby Mercer. Stadium barfs. Yeah. A 6-1 is a power hit to right field. The 11 against the righty is a home run. That is out of here. 5-4 Yankees. And that was all Bobby Mercer. Locker put it up right, made a good pitch. Mercer powered it out. And that is Bobby Mercer's third home run of the postseason. And now the batter is White. White is 0 for White is 0 for 3 is 0 for 3. And he walked. Now Locker's got to keep it 5 to 4. One out, top of the 10th. Locker will set up against White. Locker with the pitch. Locker, 2-3. Against the switch left, it's a base hit right up the middle and into the outfield. White is on base. So two quick outs and then a home run by Mercer and now a base hit. And now here's Ron Bloomberg. Bloomberg is two for four, but both those two were bombs. White is on first. Infield is at. Infield, there are two outs. White is on first. Strategy rolls are still on. And nothing happening on. Well, that's a two. White gets the steal sign. 15 plus one is 16. Duncan plus one is 17. Ooh. Do I send him? Do I send him a one to 17? I don't know. Yankee fans, do we send him a 1 to 17? White can get in the scoring position. Do you let Bloomberg hit? 
Someone tell me something here. Max says send him. White is going to try to steal second base. A 1-17, to 17, he is safe. And he is. It's an 8. And White will steal it. And now a huge insurance run at second base. White steals second base. The fans here at Oakland Coliseum are stunned, but they know they still have a chance. They have the heart of the lineup coming up in the bottom of the 10. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. White will stay there. Locker will now pitch to Bloomberg. Bloomberg has two home runs in this game. Locker, 2-6. Strikeout, 18. That is high. Bloomberg, 6-3. And it's a ground ball to second base. That will get handled by Maxville. Maxville's got it. Throws to first. And the inning is over. One run, two hits, a, a solo bomb by Bobby Mercer, who hits his third home run of the postseason. 5-4, and now the Oakland Athletics are running out of outs. Lindy McDaniel. is going to pitch. The Yankees do have Steve Bladerick, but he only pitched four innings. And even though he is available, he's a French player, and I used him in one game. I'm not going to make that mistake this time. French players really cannot come in until all the others are done. So Lindy McDaniel is going to go ahead and pitch. And leading off for the A's is Joe Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 4. Bottom of the 10th inning, 5-4. Yankees three outs away from going to the ALCS. But the A's say we're not done yet. McDaniel will pitch. McDaniel, 6-3. Against the righty, strikeout. 12 is high. Rudy, 6-5. And it's a ground ball to third. That'll get picked up there by Allen. And the throw goes to first. One down. And now if there's one guy that can tie it up, it's Reggie Jackson. Jackson is one for, he is, let's see, he is one for four. He is one for four, and McDaniel will pitch to him. McDaniel will pitch to Jackson. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum. McDaniel's got to be careful with Jackson. Fans hoping Reggie can get it done and tie this game up again. McDaniel with the pitch. McDaniel, 6-5. Against the lefty. Strikeout plus 10. That's a 14. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. And now the last chance for the Oakland Athletics is Sal Bando. He hit the home run that tied it up. He is one for four. Two down. Are the New York Yankees going to knock out the Oakland Athletics, the number one seed overall and the best team over 100 wins? It don't matter in a short series. McDaniel will go ahead and pitch to Bando. The fans at Oakland Coliseum hoping that Bando can keep the game alive. McDaniel will pitch. 1-3 against the righty. It's a blank. Bando swings. 3-5. And he pumped it up. He pumped it up to third base. Going over there is Bernie Allen. He taps his glove. Puts out his glove. Blop, and the ball falls into it. That's your game. That's your series. The New York Yankees advance to the ALCS. Stadium double barfs.
One, two, three, go the A's. The New York Yankees win the ball game five to four in ten innings. And the Yankees are going to face their arch rivals, usually in a division, in a championship series, the Kansas City Royals. The fans here are absolutely stunned. Not a single division winner gets into the championship series. And the Yankees win this game 5-4. to four. And win this series three games to two. Unbelievable. The fans here, you can hear a pin drop. They cannot believe that this team, the Oakland Athletics, and once again, there will be no historical World Series matchup on the network. We've only had it once, and that was 1981 when the Yankees and the Dodgers played in that World Series. But the Yankees won that one, not the Dodgers. Second straight night, a deciding game five goes into extras. Second straight night, the visiting team comes away with the win. Final line score coming up. For the Yankees, five runs, seven hits, one error. For the Athletics, four runs, eight hits, no errors. The winning pitcher is Lindy McDaniel, and he is going to get he's going to get his first win. He's going to go to one and one in the postseason. The loss goes, the loss will go to Bob Locker, and that's going to be his second loss. He goes to one win, two losses, and a hold. The New York Yankees win the division series. They will play the Kansas City Royals in the ALCS. The Royals do have home field advantage. And speaking of the ALCS, that is now going to be the next game as the Cubs have the as the Cubs have the better record than the Royals do. That's why the Cubs are going to be uh, the Cubs have a, have more wins than the Royals and that's why the Cubs Okay, are going to be the NLCS will be second. No game tomorrow night, Friday night, game one of the American League Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. It will be Steve Klein going for the Yankees against Roger Nelson of the Royals. We reset the pitchers, they go back to the start. That should be a very, it's a, it is definitely an old rivalry from the 70s. The Yankees will play the Royals. Game one of the ALCS. Friday night. Be there or be square. David Vega, Brian Patterson, Brian B., Tracy Meehan, Will Mack. After further review with Steve Tower. Uh, Sports Time Machine. John Haverly. And Uncle Dave Gardner, Jim Connell, Frank S., and uh, let's Joe in Pico. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if I got everybody. Uh, let's see. Of course, Jeremy Brooks and Phoenix Knight and Jimmy Jam and DB. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. This game deserved it just as much as last night. Subscribe if you're not done so, and make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys Friday night. The Yankees win! Yankees win! Duh! Yankees 
Yankees win. They beat the Athletics 5-4. to four. They win the American League Division Series three games to two. ALCS Game 1, Friday night.